I will be giving a short presentation on the use of CD19 CAR T cells, anti-CD19 CAR T cells in adults. Um, it'll be a short presentation. It's an enormous topic. Uh, the idea of CAR T cells has been around for um, 20 years now, but it was really some technological advances uh, that led to them being really rather dramatically effective for CD19 positive malignancies. When we think about CD19 positive diseases, we think about um, lymphoblastic leukemias um, and lymphomas primarily. Uh, CD19 positive CAR T cells have, have been dramatically effective and are now FDA approved to treat ALL. ALL tends to be more of a pediatric disease, and the uh, approval using CAR T cells for ALL is really only in children and young adults up to age 25. Um, certainly people up to age 25 or adults, CAR T cells have resulted in really unprecedented long-term remission rates in, in um, young adults with, with ALL. Um, the, the, the probably more frequent use in adults of anti-CD19 positive CAR T cells is in lymphomas and CLL. At the University of Pennsylvania, we began our program 10 years ago treating patients with, with CLL. In fact, um, the, those were the patients included in our first clinical trials. Uh, we've published several articles on that experience. Further studies have been using CAR T cells in patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And in fact, there were two trials that have led to FDA approval of CAR T cells against CD19 positive uh, aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, uh, there are two FDA approved products, Tisagen Lec Lucel and Axicaptogene Cellulucel. Both are FDA approved for aggressive uh, B cell lymphomas. They've shown really rather remarkable response rates in patients who have largely failed most conventional treatments. I think even more exciting is that. Um, many of the remissions are sustained for long periods of time. In these patients, we often see early relapses, particularly after chemotherapy in patients who have refractory diseases. Most of the patients who relapse, relapse in the first six to 12 months, yet there are patients now that have been followed beyond five, seven, eight years still in remission with a very high likelihood, in fact, that they've been cured. So CAR T cells are, are a you know, completely new paradigm, a new approach to treating refractory lymphomas in patients who have been heavily pretreated, who have few, if any, conventional treatment options, uh, and may be curing many of these patients. I think the biggest limitation in lymphomas and in CAR T cells in general uh, outside of, of ALL is that not enough patients actually achieve remission. Those patients who achieve remission tend to have sustained responses. And so the trick now is to figure out how to get more patients to respond. There's a great deal of, of uh, activity in the field being directed toward making better CAR T cell products, making them more effective, uh, making them safer, in fact. Um, and trying to uh, use them so that response rates will be higher and more patients can benefit. Some of the exciting approaches now are in fact combining CAR T cells with other um, therapies, uh, such as some of the studies that, that we and others have done combining CAR T cells with ibrutinib that seem to show response rates may in fact uh, be higher and deeper, particularly in patients with CLL. So there's a lot of activity I think that we will learn about over the next several years where uh, CAR T cells become even more effective and they become safer uh, and will be applied to more and more adults, in fact, with CD19 positive malignancies.